What if homework didn't exist? How many trees are in the Amazon rainforest? What if money didn't exist? How can I be a good friend? So we talk to the children and young people about the curriculum, what it is, who decides what, it, what is in it and how we learn it. And we've been exploring how the curriculum can be expanded to be tailored to individual children in individual places and be specific to Leeds, to where we're from, to our heritage, to the things that we're interested in, to our, what we're doing outside of school and how we can connect bits of our lives. Yes, yeah, so, so the, the young people came up with uh, a range of topics um, and there's, there's so many that, that we went through a, a really democratic process of, of um, honing down to, to the ones that they, they voted for and, and that these, these varied for. How do name of countries get decided? Why did racism start? How do we improve mental health? Also, random things such as... Why do fish not drown? Is the Loch Ness Monster real? And it was really, yeah, really interesting because Obviously there's the certain expertise that, that we have within the team but bringing in experts in these subject areas we, we, we learn alongside the children and, uh, and learn from them as well. What's the time now? How is ink made? How can I be a YouTuber? How are colored pens made? How would you learn about people? How do I become a sport player? It has been really amazing to have the opportunity to use art as like a learning tool. So I really struggled learning in school, I couldn't sit still. And I think using like art as a tool for learning, like a lot of the young people didn't even realise that they'd been learning all day. And then we looked at all the subject areas they'd been learning and they were like, oh yeah. And they'd remembered all these things. But I think it's like a one size fits all often in education, whereas actually that's not how all our brains work. And the reason why I was just so desperate to do it is because it's such an amazing opportunity to really kind of have that space where they're not controlled in terms of what they're studying and what they have to do. And it's been absolutely brilliant just to see the young people kind of breathe out. It's been really good. The kids have loved it, honestly, in terms of the arts, the how they were engaging, what types of games they like how they want to become a YouTuber, why they want to become a YouTuber, and the kids really enjoy this type of element since they don't see it in schools as much. It's been really, really exciting to see the kids write and rap, to see them making clay sculptures, to see them um, projecting and making live animation, and that being the product, that being enough, and they're not being a test at the end of the day. How can I become a professional? Why do we pay How do we improve mental health? How do you have a problem? How do you have a problem? How do you have a problem?